Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about constants of nature and today I am talking about the size of the proton. Why considering constants of nature at all? Because they are the royal road to fundamental physics. Now the size of the proton, the radius, is about 0.84 femtometers and uh, most people would claim that it's not fundamental, it's not even a constant of nature, because the standard model says that sizes of, and masses of elementary particles are just arbitrary numbers. I don't agree. I think that this is a number we have to wonder, we have to explain. And consider also this quote by Einstein, and he clearly said that is a message of nature something like the density of iron or something like uh, the size of the mass of the electron we have to wonder about. Now the size and uh, size of the electron is not measurable, it has no size so to speak, but the proton in fact is something we can measure about the same size of the neutron of course and technically we measure it by the uh, charge radius, how the charge of the uh, proton is distributed and it's clearly not zero but this very very tiny but finite value of about one femtometer. Most remarkably it was a couple of years ago considered to be 0.87 femtometers and then Paul and others made this new measurement by using muons and what I found very funny that particle physicists do not seem to care about that. In my opinion, all the evaluation routines, all the analysis routines of the big accelerator data would have to be changed, but they didn't change any, any of these computer programs. So this is an indication for me that all this particle physics business is somehow detached from reality if they don't care about the size of the proton. I mean, what do you do? at CERN if not investigating the properties of the proton. Anyway, you can put also the size of the proton in proportion to the size of the universe. Dirac did that and in his large number hypothesis he developed a very interesting hypothesis. So at the very end this is one of the mysterious numbers nature provides us with and eventually we have to explain. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.